the tension is pretty high and that wind looks like it might well play a part today. Yeah, that could really open things up. You know, massive pressure on today, these Olympic spots. So, yeah, let's see who can make them. Absolutely. As you can see, the archers are already out for quarterfinal number one. Well, there we have it, the announcement of the Archers for this first quarter final. Elia Canales of Spain on target number one. He's 19 years old and goes up against French archer Melanie Gobel. And it will be Canales who will shoot first. World rankings exceptionally close. Canales, world number 27. Gobel, world number 28. Now, let's keep things nice and simple, Nikki. Uh, we <laughs> well, recurve discipline is the only uh, archery discipline that goes to the Olympic Games. And effectively, the simplest way of putting this is if you win a quarterfinal, you book a quota place for your country. Is that right? That's right, yes. It's up to the country to decide which archer goes, but it's best of five sets here to decide it. So... Canales of Spain, been performing very well recently, will get us underway. Nine. Might be Double. on the line, so gets a nine to start with. Eight. Better sighter for Canales in the first arrow. Yeah, some really good group in there. Two high left arrows, just adjusting their sight there to get them into the ten. Both right for the French archer. Just hey. worked well for Canales. Uh, she's put this one out of reach and will get the first two set points here. Gobel will be keen to keep improving on her score. Just outside nine. the 10 ring, so into the 9. So 26 for Gobel. Uh, what do you think of the start so far, Nikki? Yeah, you know, they've come into this arena. Um, they probably don't know exactly what the conditions are like. Um, so they've got uh, some hedges down this right-hand side, so that can change the conditions from the middle of the field that we can see behind where some archers are practicing there. So, you know, you just got to get into this match. Um, that first end's out of the way. We're into another set now. So, um, you know, it's important just to re push that reset button and get back into your game. Yeah, so a reminder for all of those uh, that just want to refresh on the scoring system, each uh, set of three arrows per archer is measured independently of the others. Uh, if you win a set, you get two set points. If you level with your opponent, you get one point each. Which means you get no points on the target. It's best of five. So if you reach six, you've won. Um, if they tie up at five all, then we're going to go to the shoot-off. It's very early days here on this qualifying Friday. Very unusual archery to have on a Friday. But uh, this is part of the European Championships. We've got... Well, the best part of five hours of live coverage here, because once we've been through the women's quarterfinals, we'll go straight into the men's quarterfinals. All four, four spots in each gender. Four individual spots. The only athletes able to compete in this are athletes from countries that haven't already qualified in this discipline. It's time for set number two. Off to the right in the first set, 
corrected a little bit for the final arrow, but Govel's gone wide for a six there. Both going left there, Nikki. Yeah, I think there might be any change in the conditions. We can see these big feather flags behind the arches, uh, giving us some indication of what's happening in the wind. Hey. Into the middle, she really needed that. We're right near the coast here, on Antalya, so you know the conditions can change quickly, and they can change through the day as well. Literally, there's a coastal wind, so it might start off in one direction and then change halfway through the day. Hey. Very strong here, very relaxed, even affording herself a smile. And see the back shoulder and elbow of uh, Melanie Goebel. Yeah, some real shake in there. There's so much pressure on these uh, matches now. This is your chance to get to the games or not. Beautiful stuff from Aye. Elia Canales. A 9-10-9, another 28, and she's gone four set points up. She could do this in nine hours, it is possible. Now, look, let's just talk about Olympic qualification. Here, obviously, Canales is, is winning the battle in terms of uh, the score, but also controlling her emotions and even affording herself a little smile. Goebel uh, struggling just a little bit. But the, the idea, the very simple idea here is that if you win your quarterfinal, you book your country a quota spot, one quota spot in the women's recurve in this situation, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, we've got a couple of countries um, of the same same countries going through here. So if the same country wins two spots, if Spain go through and win two spots, then we're going to go back to count back. So the score here is important. Melanie wants to get her points on the board, so she might be a best loser and still steal one of those places. Yeah, more on that as uh, this competition develops. But as uh, Nicky Hunt said, we've got a couple of Spaniards, a couple of French archers, we've got two Turks who actually go up against each other in quarterfinal number three. But only one place is available per country. So if the two Spaniards win, they still only get one spot. Goebel here up against it. Four set points to nil down as we go into set number three. We can see the wind blowing around in the background there. And these arrows are flying all over the place some going to the right some going to the left you have to think it is the wind that is playing its part here beautiful again from Canales though she has got control of her emotions and she's shooting beautifully I think you can see a huge difference look at the shake in here the French archer the nerves you can see her getting to her nine. shoot the better nine there but I know Aaliyah Canales you know she's just Look at her, she just looks so much more in control. She looks calm, relaxed, following her process. She certainly looks like the better archer at the moment. I think she knew that that one had probably aimed a little left. You could see that front arm trying to pull over to the right, trying to move the arrow. Little smile, she knew she probably wasn't quite aiming in the right place. Well, nice to know what the error is, but look at the tremble there. Oh, but it is in the 10, and that is exactly what Gobel needed. Now, Canales here needs a 10 to draw level. That won't be enough to put her over the win winning line here. But anything less than a 10, and Goebel's back in this. It's into the 8, and so Goebel gets her first two set points. Uh, telling Nikki in the... Well, it looked like, as you said, Canales knew what that second arrow was doing. Yeah, I think she just probably got her aiming spot wrong. You can see the flags just going over to the right. Perhaps she aimed off too far left and a bit of a smile, you know, I aimed off too far and it went exactly where I aimed it probably. Um, that can happen. Um, she's got to reset herself now, get back into the match again. But, you know, it's all to play for. If Melanie comes out and wins this next set, we're going to be all square at four all. So it's still wide open. Well, that's the key thing, isn't it? Because, uh, as you said, if we get to a situation where two athletes from the same country go through, and then the women's that can only be uh, two athletes from Spain or France, go through to the semi-finals, we will go to this count back. The, the Olympic place is, is banked, that fourth Olympic place. And so the, the scoring here is so important for Goebel. Uh, and then she's got to be uh, hoping to cheer on 
uh, De Velasco in the in the final quarter final if she wasn't to make it through but of course she still could here yeah she's got to hope for the best score she can she really wants to get four points on the board if she were to lose I mean it could go either way here let's see well time for set number four can Melanie Goebel of France control those nerves world number 28 at 23 years old still trails and will shoot first in the fourth go to a measure it does look like there has been asterisks on the scoreboard Back to looking a little bit more solid but as you can see our wind sock our digital wind sock showing that wind blowing all over the place left and right a bit of a longer hold there but it paid off didn't it straight in the 10 again she's looking much more confident now pulling off to the left so uh, a 28 at the moment that could potentially get marked up to a 29 so a 10 required whatever the case here from Canales she's gone into the line so it's a 27 Nick will of course be measured uh, Goebel's first arrow but she's leveled this match up at four set points each <laughs> With, look it's really uh, difficult at the start of four hours of archery to, 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 to overdo it, but this is for a place at Tokyo. Not necessarily for these archers, but you've got to imagine France and Spain are looking at uh, these two individuals as, as favourites potentially for the Olympic spot should they win it. Yeah, you've got to impress your country here. You know, you want to get through all the way through this tournament and win it. So, you know, it's really important how you're performing to show your federation that you are the archer to take that place as well. Not only have you won it for the country, but you're the archer to take it. So they may well have their own selection processes still to come. Um, but, you know, there's only 49 days to the Olympic Games. So some countries say to their athletes you know go out there if you win the spot it's yours so you know anything could happen and they've just got to deal with this pressure and, and do the best they can yeah they certainly do I mean, there, there's a, a chance depending on those uh, national selection criteria that the loser of this match could still be uh, standing on the line in Tokyo but the only way to be sure certainly to get your country's spot is to win this match at four apiece we go into the fifth and we're back to Canales who was getting some emotional support in the break to shoot first Very long hold here. And that's straight down into the seven. Didn't look as comfortable on that hold as she has done in a couple of her previous longer holds. Wow, a big, big uh, arrow there. So right out in the fire. She looked so confident and happy. I, you know, I just wonder if that was... Uh, the wind, or I didn't see anything there. It was different about the shot. Oh, and again, Six another one over to the left. So perhaps the conditions, both archers, I mean, one left-handed archer, one right-handed archer. So, you know, it might be the wind that's pushing the arrow over. It's incredible that both of them went so far left. And a much faster shot from Gobel for a second arrow. Back in the middle for Canales. And that has put this one out of reach. Uh, but two curious arrows from uh, the archers, one each. Gobel here. Well, no chance of winning this match. Finishes with a nine, though. And it is Lyra 
Canales, who has taken this one with a very low scoring fifth set. 24 points for her and a 6 4 win for the now Canales of Spain. A curious match, Nikki. A curious match. Gobel absolutely in pieces, understandably. A chance a place at the Olympic Games all but gone, certainly for now. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Um, you know, <laughs> the, every archer's dream is to get to the Olympics. You know, certainly recurve archers. Um, you know, it means everything. It is the pinnacle of the sport. Um, this just means so much to them. You can see the emotion pouring out because 49 days to go. Um, you know, you're booking your, your country spot. may well be your spot. Um, you know, it's a huge, huge deal. Yeah, contrasting emotions, but uh, great to see uh, the two athletes embrace. And you could see in Kamalas' face the, the, the true sympathy she felt for her opponent. C could easily have gone the other way. And it's yeah, Kamalas, who's gone through 6-4 in the first quarterfinal, booking a spot, a quota place for the Spanish Archery Federation for Tokyo 2020.